Lala Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. That's great. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find me pearls, give them to me, okay? <laughs> Come on, I'm coming! You couldn't run the leg for yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Lola Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, Real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. everyone and welcome to the show. This week we're in Birmingham celebrating St. Patrick's Day Parade with the Birmingham Irish Association and the Irish community here in Birmingham. The parade was first established in 1952 and it was the very first St. Patrick's Day Parade in Britain. This is a huge event. It's a great kickoff since COVID. There's lots of dancing groups, a large amount of floats, a VIP bus, lots of special guests. And when the parade is all over, there's going to be an afternoon of Irish music with Nathan Carter wrapping it all up this evening. So we hope you'll enjoy the show. Morris, a hugely successful day of course, but so much work, so much planning has gone into this. It was, it's been a long six, nine months, something like that, it feels like absolute 24-7, for the, especially the last couple of months trying to finish everything off, but when you see the turnout today and you see everybody having such a fantastic time, it's worth all the heartache and the pain. 
Well, absolutely. The turnout you had, first of all, for people coming to watch the parade was outstanding. And the amount of people that took part, the floats, the dancing groups, so I could go on forever. It was. It was sensational to see how many people actually turned up. And we were a bit worried with the weather this morning, thinking how's it going to go. But the sun came out. We had, you know, 30, 35 floats, over 60 walking groups and however many thousands on the street. So, yeah, fabulous day. 2019 was the last time we were here so with Covid and one thing and another it's been a, you know, a few barren years but we're back and we're back with a bang. You had a great uh, start as well when all those green uh, shoots come out of the gun. Apparently we did, I didn't see it, I was locked in a room upstairs but I'll be looking back at the footage and the drone footage but from what I've been told it was, it was fantastic to see and a real spectacle so that's, yeah, delighted with that. Lord Mayor, the excitement is building here for St. Patrick's Day Parade. Oh, it's great. Uh, I'm pleased to be uh, uh, hosting, uh, having this parade uh, in my term of office. Uh, this is a, f a special occasion, 50th anniversary of the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Birmingham. Um, and the parade um, was last held in 2019, so I'm glad that it's coming back to a great city. And you're making history yourself because I believe you're the first Indian person to be Lord Mayor of Birmingham. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. And uh, so I say a lot, lot of co co common uh, uh, with the Irish community. Uh, I remember back in the 60s and 70s, uh, the Irish community we didn't have a long time. And I grew up with the, within the, uh, when the Irish community were doing so much for the building of this of great city. Great to see so many other communities involved here as well today. Oh yes, I mean the, the, this, uh, the, all the communities should be uh, enjoying each other's uh, uh, festivals and cultures and sharing their, you know, uh, history. So and and we should be working together to go forward. Lady Mayoress, are you looking forward to it? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Actually, I'm quite pleased to. I'm here to celebration with the Irish, Irish community to St. Patrick Day. And you know, it's been raining all morning, but when you just appeared, you brought the sunshine. Yeah, I was brave last night, actually, <laughs> to stop the rain. So I'm really pleased. There's nice weather now. So everybody, we enjoy it. So. Lovely. Lovely to meet you both. <laughs> and uh, I wish everybody a sent happy St. Patrick's Day. John, St. Patrick's Day, it's a great day to be Irish. Oh, absolutely, and it's great to have a Sunday, 17th of March, here in Birmingham. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity to be here. Yeah, absolutely. It's great excitement here, of course, because the parade had a little, a little miss for a while. It's back after five years. Oh, it's great. It's absolutely great, considering that it's the third biggest parade in the world, which is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think the, looking at the crowds today and all the floats that's out, there's a massive effort being made. Absolutely, and I can see jerseys from all, every county in Ireland here today, and that's great to see. The, the colour, not just green, every county, is, every county seems to be here. Of course, uh, you at the Embassy and all of you, you're so busy trying to support every parade today. Oh, absolutely. We're, our main one, obviously, today is in London, where the Ambassador is, but here we're across the Midlands, right across the country, there's people from the Embassy here. And of course, you've had quite a few ministers over from Ireland as well. Yeah, and Minister Foley is here today, is in London today. We had Minister Harris during the week. We had a number of big events uh, down, in, in, down at the Embassy, so it's been very busy. It's great to see so many Irish people here and other people from other communities here as well today. Well, it really, it, particularly here in Birmingham, which, which has got a diverse uh, community where, where, the, where there's people from right across the world here that live here, so it's, a great, it's um, wonderful to see so many here. You're here in Birmingham, but I know that your heart is back in Galway. I wonder how the parades are going on over there. I don't know, but I mean, I hopefully, the one thing I was going to say is I hope they have a few pounds left after Cheltenham and Galway at this stage.
here, a historic day today for Birmingham. Well, it's wonderful to be here today. The sun is shining and it's the first parade we've had in five years. So obviously COVID, the big reconstruction works in the city defied us, but we're now back. So it's a brilliant day. And I should say a big thank you to the Irish Association and Cross Birmingham for actually bringing this about. Well, I know you're very supportive of this parade and I know you've spoken a lot about it uh, down the months and you've given a lot of support to all the, the arrangements behind the scenes. You are absolutely right. So I was here the last time we had the parade, the weather wasn't like this, do you remember? And of course, about six months ago now, the association said to me, are we going to be able to make this happen? And I said, of course we are. And of course, it's lovely that so many people have come together to make it happen. This is something that always happens in the West Midlands. Whatever is being celebrated, one community welcomes everybody else to be part of it. Because the story here is Irish history, history of Irish people who came to work here to build the city, particularly between the wars, after the war, that is just so important. There's huge pride in the Irish community for what they did for this city. And uh, you know, we've all got the images of uh, you know, how beautiful they are too, of Irish men and I should say women behind the scenes as well, who are actually making this TV what it is now. It's wonderful, wonderful to see such a big community of people here together to celebrate. And I believe you're a Galway girl. No, so my family are from Lyme. So, yes, I am. Well, my mum is Irish, um, so that my mum's family came over to the UK in the 50s. So, have a strong Irish heritage in Birmingham. So fantastic, really, to be part of this. So here with the Birmingham Law Society, um, so we are the membership organisation. We represent 9,000 lawyers in Birmingham in the West Midlands and on Tuesday we are hosting a celebratory breakfast for St Patrick's Day. How are you Martin? Hello. Lovely to see you. You're having a good day. We're having a great day and it's a great turnout there's no doubt about it isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. Happy St Patrick's Day. And to you and to all your viewers. It's a pleasure to be here and it's a beautiful sunny day and like always Birmingham has turned out uh, to celebrate our uh, immense pride in our Irish heritage. Isn't the colour fantastic? It is brilliant! Uh, and, you know, I mean, I'm afraid that I've made very little effort, but I did put on a uh, green eyeshadow. So that was my main effort today. Uh, but it would just be so lovely. My kid has never been before, so uh, I'm here to teach him about his Irish heritage. Here we are in Birmingham with these two girls from County Mayo. Are you having a good time? Having a great time now. Yeah, yeah great time. What are you going to do for the rest of the day? Drink. Wow. We are. We're gonna we're gonna have a few Guinnesses, a few baby Guinnesses, and enjoy ourselves Thank now. You. Now, what are you doing with these two ladies from Mayo? And you a Dublin man? Well, I guess I good care of them, aren't I? <laughs> have a few drinks, enjoy the nights, and see see how we go. Absolutely. Well, I might come and join you because we're going to take a short break, and we'll see you in a few minutes.
La La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? <laughs> I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Why? Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Sloco! Come on, I'm coming! You couldn't run the leg for yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Welcome back. We are here in Birmingham covering St. Patrick's Day Parade and we're with a fantastic group of people. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Okay, we'll see a lot more of these in the next 15 minutes. dancing here in Birmingham for 55 years and uh, received a British Empire medal from the Queen and uh, we're here today as a group uh, her ex-dancers and that formed up and all turned up to support her so that's what the banners are all about today and uh, these girls are some of the ones who danced for Sylvia for years I'm waiting for Sylvia Brennan's um, Dancing Academy to come down and I'm joining them. I couldn't do all the walk, I've got my stick all decorated to do it. Kieran, of course today the parade was a huge success and we know that you've been heavily involved in supporting it as well. 
Yeah, the Birmingham Irish guys done an amazing job. Uh, it's great to see all the floats back and all the dancing groups back up on uh, Camp Hill Island. And, uh, yeah, it was amazing. It was probably one of the best parades I've seen and I've been around here for 10, 15 years. I just can't believe the crowd. And here we are tonight and the crowd, nobody wants to go home and they're waiting for Nathan Carter to go on stage. That's it, yeah. We're excited to have Nathan Carter here at Mini Park um, after the parade. So, yeah, be good evening, hopefully. The weather's held off which is the main thing, so that always helps when you have sunshine. Now it's great to see you all working together because that's what it's all about. It's about working together, pulling together, and you can see the success from it. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Trudy, Morris and Sinead have done such an amazing job bringing it back and bringing it back so successfully. It sort of made it easier for us venues around here just to you know get a few people in so uh, credit to them and uh, what they achieved today was amazing and obviously a lot of people benefit from it so it's always a positive Happy St. Patrick's Day everybody I'm going to be here. Nathan it's been a long day here celebrating St. Patrick's Day Parade in Birmingham and you're going to put the icing on the cake now yeah looking forward to this um, this is my first time uh, doing this particular venue in Birmingham. We've done the Symphony, we've done Parkfest, and of course today is a big day for anyone that's Irish or uh, related to anyone that's Irish or just wants to be Irish for the day. Uh, they're in there today, so it's, uh, it's going to be a really good ending to St. Patrick's Day. It's been a busy couple of days over the weekend, but we're, we're delighted to be here. It's been a really good day. Thankfully the weather has been good, no rain, um, and people are, you know, from li literally kids to grannies and granddads. The, the, it's a real family day out, which is really good and uh, always makes for a great atmosphere. You're a very, very busy man, but you're always releasing new songs and writing new songs and, and producing them virtually every month. How do you manage to keep it going? I haven't done much this month uh, because the amount of gigs and we've been doing a lot of radio and TV this morning we were on BBC One uh, on the Sunday uh, breakfast show and yesterday we were on Sky as well as that doing gigs in between at the night time. Uh, so it really has been very busy but uh, delighted the way it's going. Uh, the social media is up and the, the gigs have been selling out quicker than they ever have so I'm, I'm really happy the way things are, are shaping up at the minute and uh, it's very promising for the future. Birmingham seems to be the hub of entertainment at the moment because, of course, you've had huge crowds at the Park Festival last year and the year before. How are things going in preparations for this year? Yeah, it's, it's going well. We're, we're getting this one, not out the way, but we're, we're getting over this one and then we're going to release the lineup for uh, August, same date in August, um, same venue in the grounds of the Irish Centre. We're going to release our lineup and sell some tickets and, and get everyone back in the summer, which is great. How can people get tickets? What's the, what's the arrangements for that? They've been sold on our park website at the moment. There's still early bird prices, so we're going to do this, and then you know next week uh, we're going to release the full lineup. Um, and yeah, but you can buy tickets. They're actually cheaper to buy now, so I recommend buying them now for the summer. Good luck with the park festival. I know it'll be a huge success this year, and uh, we'll see you in August. That's it. Thanks for coming down again, Martin. We appreciate your support. How we feel? back in September and we're doing a run of shows around England. We're going to be in the Liverpool Philharmonic doing a, home, a homecoming gig for me. Uh, and then of course we're going to be doing the Birmingham Symphony Hall in November. We're up in Scotland uh, doing Glasgow Concert Hall which is just sold out in Inverness for four nights. Uh, so it's really busy. Uh, and then of course in, in the middle of the, the year we're doing a lot of festivals around Ireland, marquees, outdoor stuff and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's busier than ever.
crack by the creek in uh, Stockport is happening. Uh, we've been booked again for this year. Uh, they've just booked Bewitched as well, the pop band, so they're going to be on with uh, with ourselves on the same day. Um, there's a whole lineup of different acts from Ireland flying over for that particular festival. I know it's selling really fast, but there still is limited tickets left for Crack by the Creek. So if you haven't been to Crack by the Creek, make sure you grab tickets. It's one of the best festivals in England to go to. When you've done all that, you're going to be back here in Birmingham for the Park Fest. For the Park Fest as well, yeah. I might just uh, move to Birmingham. I think it might be easier <laughs> just to commute rather than Enniskillen. Uh, but no, we're delighted. Uh, there are a lot of festivals happening and uh, thankfully the new album is doing really well and uh, looking forward to this tonight now it's going to be really good to be uh, to be here at this particular location for st patrick's day it's uh, extra special nathan i've got a question for you would you like to buy a hat um, i'm wondering where you got this particular hat from i'm <laughs> guessing my nan was involved in this sale <laughs> and uh, i'd say she didn't charge you did she i got a special discount <laughs> it's my day today um and what amazes me is that um, that something like 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people turn out every year to celebrate my death. And I can't understand that. They must have been so pleased to see me go. But I actually love this day. This is the day when Birmingham turns green and the rest of the country turns green with envy. Happy St. Patrick's Day! God bless everybody here today. Are you having a good time? Oh, Excellent. Where are you? Excellent. Look at it. Look at it down there. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And of course, Morris, I've got to mention all the people you had on duty today, your own staff, all the volunteers, St John's Ambulance, the police. You had so many people here, it was fantastic. Yeah, the support we've had from the community, from the city council, all the authorities has been... Couldn't have asked for more for them, the band of volunteers, all the staff who work here at Birmingham Irish who've given their time up over the last few weeks, and a little band of volunteers who've been working with me day and night on this. Without them, we wouldn't have achieved what we did today. We were a bit worried because we've never used this route before, so it was, wasn't tried and tested. But as you've seen today, fabulous route, great atmosphere, so yeah, really pleased. 50 years of the parade. 50th parade, yep, this year, so please God we're all around for 51. <laughs> Thank you so much for, to you and to all your staff. A credit to you all. Today was a huge, huge success and we all enjoyed it. Fantastic, now it's a pleasure and thank you for coming to support us as always. It's been a great day here celebrating St. Patrick's Day Parade in Birmingham with the Irish community. We hope you've all enjoyed it at home. We'll be back next week. See you all then. Yeah.